welcome to our channel in this session we are going to discuss about iterated hill climbing in artificial intelligence before going to discuss iterated hill climbing first of all what is mean by hill climbing we already discussed the hill climbing approach in detail hill climbing is a local search algorithm in hill climbing we have different ways a regular hill climbing stochastic hill climbing anyway what is the concept here we are starting from one state from this state we are evaluating all the neighbors now we are moving to the neighbor with the best improvement suppose this neighbor adds a more improvement then we are moving to this neighbor only that means we are doing the process for all the neighbors until the best to neighbor is available and this is a simply a greedy approach that means at each and every state if there is an improvement then only it moves if there is no improvement then it stops what is the problem we know multiple problems among them the most important is local maximum local maximum means for example i am moving in this way assume this is the point now this is the local maximum point the thing is compare it to its neighbor this is the best one but but in the future you have the global neighbor is also there but i stuck at this local maximum why each and every state we are moving based on the best neighbor that is a based on the greedy approach now to avoid such a problem we are moving to the concept of iterated hill climbing so this is simply an extension of hill climbing the main thing is to overcome local maximum iterated means the number of times the same approach is repeated that means simply first i am starting at this position evaluate all the neighbors and select the best neighbor and so on move on and in the next iteration suppose assume <laughs> starting at another point do the same procedure in the another iteration randomly start at another point i think you got the point point the same hill climbing process is repeated multiple number of times at each time we are taking a new initial state now among all the solutions we are find out the best solution now you got the meaning iterated that is the same approach is repeated multiple number of times among all the repetitions which repetition we are getting the maximum that is the best solution that is considered now what are the steps of the algorithm same procedure first randomly choose one state as the initial state apply the same hill climbing approach until we are reaching a local maximum so whatever the solution we are finding we are storing the solution if it is the best suppose right now assume solution 1 is there in the next repetition next repetition means restart from another random state and you are getting some solution 2 suppose compare to solution 1 solution 2 is better keep this one simply ignore this one the same process is repeated for a fixed number of iterations or else a satisfactory solution is found clear now some examples where we are using this iterated hill climbing a regular and popular example is traveling sales person problem you know the basic concept traveling sales person means simply a salesman starting at one city visit all the cities exactly once and return to the starting city with minimum cost if you understand carefully here what is the problem with the hill climbing for example the cities are a b c d if i started to city a assume i started city a a to b b to c c to d you are getting one cost in the next iteration instead of a i start from city b identify the total cost in the next iteration city c in the next iteration city d i think you got the point so which initial state yields the best solution each and every state so the hill climbing approach is start with a random route and repeatedly swap two cities if it reduces the cost maybe it stuck at a optimal route but iterated hill climbing is different random routes apply the hill climbing each approach and keeps the best one obviously improves the 
solution that is we are finding the near optimal tool one more example is the function optimization function optimization means suppose you are taking one function x into sin x suppose assume the value of x is between 0 to 50 in the general scenario, if you start at x, not only x is equal to 5 at any point, suppose assume if x is equal to 5, you may get stuck at a local maximum. Suppose if you are doing repetition multiple number of times, approximately x is equal to 45, you can reach a global maximum. That is what is the intention? That means the same operation is need to be repeated multiple number of times. At one time you get the best solution. That is the concept here. Now what are the advantages? Very simple. It is easy to implement. Why? It is also hill climbing approach and escapes the local maximum. Why? It performs multiple number. That is iteration. Obviously it can find the global optimal solution compared to local optimal. Then what is the limitation? As usual, if the problem size is very large, repeat, repetition of multiple times, it takes a lot of time. And one more thing is there is no guarantee, even though you are taking multiple initial states, maybe if you missed one initial state, that may lead to the global optimum. Okay. So, compared to remaining some other techniques, simulated annealing and genetic algorithms, it is slower. Anyway, in the next sessions, we will discuss these two algorithms also. Where we are using, like we are discussing x into sin x, the function optimization problems we are using. So, constraint satisfaction you are using, like traversing path planning you are using, like scheduling we are using. These are the different applications. In a simple term, what is hill climbing? Simply, if I get stuck in one hill, if I get stuck in one hill, I will climb and another hill. I will climb and another hill and keep the hill tallest I will find. That is, whatever the tallest hill I will find, I will keep on climbing, keep on climbing another hill. This is one example that is the graph representation. Here the function is f of x is equal to x into sin x by 5. So, this black curve represents different values here. Different values, the row, this is x value, this is a different x values, how the curve moves, how the curve moves. For example, for some particular value, at a particular value, uh, assume some x is equal to some 6. Assume at x is equal to some 6, we are getting some local maximum value. We are getting local maximum value and generally stuck here. Suppose instead of stucking here, if you are move on, move on, move on, observe at x is equal to some value approximately 45, you can get a local, sorry, you can get a high peaker value that is a global maximum value. That means what is mean? keeps trying from different starting points until you find a better solution. This is the concept of iterated hill climbing. In the next session, we are moving to simulated annealing. Thank you.